Hi, I'm Donna Barnes, Heartbreak Coach. And in this clip, I want to talk to you about how to stop being angry because it's not good for you. And venting is keeping you angry. I hear a lot of people ranting and raving and complaining, really, and just saying, oh, I'm just venting. I just need to get this off my chest. I just vent. Maybe. You know, it's like, you know, when I was at NYU, they said that we should give our clients the keys to the BMW for five meaning, minutes, meaning if you could bitch, moan, and whine for five minutes to get it off your chest, then you could feel free and you could move on and, and have an effective coaching session. But far too many people get caught up in ruminating on their angry thoughts and it's perpetuating it. Venting is perpetuating. It's, it's the way your brain processes information is every time you think about it, your body's responding like it happened all over again. So if you're thinking angry thoughts, you're keeping yourself angry. And if you're angry at somebody else, stop blaming them. Blame is toxic and it's keeping you trapped. If you're blaming someone else, you're powerless to do anything about it. You can't. But if you take responsibility for the things that you can do, then you're empowered because it's in your control. You can do something about it. So stop blaming the other person if you're feeling angry at them and look at your own participation and what you can do to make it better for you without manipulating them or harming them. But um, blame is junk food, as I like to call it in my book. But um, it's toxic and it's not good for you and it's not healthy. What I'm trying to say is if you're feeling really angry and you're holding on to anger, it's because you're still thinking about it and because quite frankly, you want to hold on to it and you don't even recognize that probably, but you need to stop venting about it to all sorts of different people because you're reliving it each time you talk to somebody. Maybe you need to talk to one person about it to sort out your feelings and ideally a coach, like, you know, call me. I, that's exactly what I'm good at is helping people sort out what's really going on and helping them feel better. But you need to have somebody to talk to or at least write out your thoughts. Writing is a great thing actually with a pen on paper, your brain processes the information, write, get as angry as you want. Like, you know, journaling, like, you know, it's a great tool, especially if you're going through a breakup. But um, get it off your chest. And, and actually writing it down is the best way to do it because then you kind of feel like if you're trying to figure out things, a lot of times you do it because you're just trying to process it. By putting it on paper, your brain processes it better and then it's there if you want to go back and revisit it again, but you don't have to. And it's, it's really, it's almost miraculous how much your mind lets go of something once you write it down. And you need to think happy thoughts. I mean, I know that sounds so cliche, but you really, you are what you think you are. And what's running through your head is creating your emotions and your feelings. So if you're feeling really angry about something, push the pause button and stop. Think about what's really going on. Sometimes when you're really angry about something, it's not even what you think it's about. It's about something else. Like if you're having a bad day and you're really irritable and just everything's annoying you, there's something going on. And if you push the pause button and stop and try to figure out what exactly it is that's bothering you, then hopefully you can release it because you got to the bottom of it. And it's really unhealthy to harbor that anger. And especially if you're not good at expressing it, if you're angry, but you're not really expressing it, then that becomes depression. Depression is anger turned inward. So it's so unhealthy. Run exercise, do cardio, go walk. If you can't run, get outside and move your body, get your heart rate up. It's so effective. I mean, I'm a runner. I have my best runs when I'm angry. If I've got something on my mind, I'll run 10 miles before I even realize it. And I'm like, Oh wow, I'm done. You know? So, um, take good care of yourself. And if you're feeling angry, try to pinpoint the source of it. Stop blaming the other person and stop venting it to other people. It's just perpetuating your anger journal, get it out or find one good solid person to talk to and, um, and then resolve to bury that issue and move forward and find something else to focus your thoughts on 
that's positive and makes you feel happy. I'm Donna Barnes, Heartbreak Coach.